Shelby Tinker Fortel. I'm a resident of Columbia and Senate District 19. I'm here today as a representative of GROW, Grassroots Organizing. I'm joined, uh, it's a nonprofit organization based out of Mexico, Missouri. I'm joined by GROW members. I'm here to speak in opposition to Senate Resolution 27 and to the benefits of the Affordable Care Act to GROW members and to Missourians in Missouri on a broader scale with the perspective of my personal experience. In the spring of 2004, I was 20 years old and finishing up my sophomore year in college. As classes were concluding and finals approaching, a bump developed in the roof of my mouth. A student, I had insurance coverage under my parents' high deductible plan. And at the conclusion of the semester, I moved home for the summer. A series of examinations led to a biopsy, which led to a diagnosis. The seemingly benign bump was determined to be a low-grade malignant tumor, which would require surgery. If things went as planned, I would have the surgery before the end of the summer and still be able to return to school for RA training and to begin my junior year. Things did not go as planned. Following that first major surgery, my diagnosis was changed from a low-grade tumor to a high-grade stage four tumor. It was found that the tumor was tracking along a nerve in the roof of my mouth and that it had spread to some of the bone in my hard palate. My treatment would involve another major surgery in which three teeth and a portion of my hard palate was removed. Following the surgery and necessary healing time, I would have six and a half weeks of radiation therapy. Because I would no longer be a student while I was being treated for cancer, my insurance company determined that I would not be eligible for coverage under my parents' plan. I was required to take out my own high deductible insurance plan and continued with advice treatment. I returned to school the following January, completing my education in the traditional, in the traditional eight semester plan and as an active member of my college community, but not without the lifelong baggage of a pre-existing condition. Despite the fact that I now have had over three years of work with good health insurance plans, I have maintained the high deductible, deductible policy I had when I was diagnosed with cancer. Why? Because if for some reason I am ever without work that provides health insurance, no insurance provider would be required to cover me. Come 2014, the Affordable Care Act will change that. It has already changed that for children. My experience with the manipulative, profit-driven health insurance industry pre-Affordable Care Act reforms is not unique, and it doesn't really scratch the surface of the suffering people have experienced. People die because of the games insurance companies play with our lives at our most vulnerable moments. The benefits of the national insurance reform legislation passed last spring are not arbitrary. They are concrete and real, and they are having a positive impact on our lives. One of the organizational goals of GROW, grassroots organizing, is that all people in this country have quality health care. Our members, our communities, and people across this country are benefiting and will continue to benefit from many components of the Affordable Care Act. Attempts at blanket repeal are without regard for the direct impact on our fellow citizens and without regard for the overall well-being of our country. With due respect, they are short-sighted at best and wholly manipulative, dishonest, and selfish at worst. Thank you for considering my testimony and the written educational testimony GROW is submitting with regards to Senate Resolution 27. very much for your testimony. Do we have any questions for the witness? Seeing none, thank you. 